we're here at the Student Jurt um, Art Show that's going on right now. We just concluded the reception of awards, and we are with two of our uh, instructors here in the art department. Would you like to introduce yourselves to our audience? Susan Rochester, I'm the Chair of Fine and Performing Arts, and I also teach art full-time. I'm also the director for the art gallery, except for this term when this wonderful woman stepped in and has covered things for me. And I'm Renee Couture, and I teach part-time in fine, well, fine art area, and this term I got everything ready for the gallery. <laughs> Um, and this art show is the final one for the, the school year. How long has the Student Jurid Art Show been going on? I would say at least since the 80s, and each year the last show of the year has been reserved as a showcase of student art. And the judges that are brought in, or the judge that's brought in, how is, is that person selected? We look for an active artist who has, you know, a professional artist who has a good foundation, you know, ideally in a lot of what we teach. We don't want someone coming in who does, say, stained glass, assessing the show when we don't teach stained glass, but we look for someone who is also understanding of what students are going through as artists in the learning process and is able to find the quality in, in those pieces. Yeah, and we talk about it as a faculty, selecting um, one, two, or, or three people. Uh, but hopefully, if it's one person, a single person who has maybe works in a couple different media, um, or if it's multiple people, then where multiple media are represented. And how many students do we have in this art show this time? Oh, I have a list. There's maybe... 30 or 40, I would say that's, yeah, represented no. that work in the show. And is the choices, um, those who, I don't want to say win, those who receive awards at the end, is that based on the artist or the juror's individual criteria, or is there a baseline that they No, the provided juror with? definitely, we gave, we gave this juror and have given jurors in the past sort of free reign to do what they do, right? That's why they are being essentially paid right. to jury, and we selected that person because we trust him or her to make those decisions. And it's always interesting as a faculty member, you know, we get attached to our students, we get attached to their work, we know the struggle that students have gone through. So it's always really interesting and refreshing to have someone, a trained artist from outside, come in and assess the work. We always see the work through new eyes after talking to you know, the judge and why he or she's made the decisions he or she's made. And any final words for our students? Come to the show. See what your colleagues have uh, been up to over the past year with, uh, with making work and getting delving into their creative side. and. Register for an art register class. For an art you, class can you can do this. You can do it too. Yeah. We have electives and art. Um, you don't have to be an art major to take art classes. And in learning how to draw or to take photographs or to sculpt or to paint or any of those things, you learn new things about yourself. You learn new things about your subject area. And it's something you will carry with you for the rest of your life. Ditto. Mm -hmm.